Cindy Becky. I'm at the Ranger booth at Summer CHA in nice and sunny Orlando. Um, I have a new technique I want to show you using Ranger's pigment inks and perfect pearls. And I call it pigments and pearls. Okay, so here's the products you're going to need to do this technique. You need two colors of Ranger's pigment inks and your choice of color of perfect pearls. Um, for this technique I'm going to show you, I use Sunflower Sparkle Perfect Pearls and an uh, empty mini mister. So what you want to do is open your mini mister, fill it with water up to the last R in Ranger, and then you'll take your craft stick and dip it in the uh, perfect pearls, drop it in the mini mister, put the lid on and shake it. So the first thing you're going to do is to apply some pigment ink onto your nonstick craft sheet. Um, this first color is denim. And I'm going to add some butterscotch pigment ink. And I like to stick with two colors. That seems to work out really well. So this is my perfect pearl and water mixture that I just mixed before. And I'm going to mist the, the inks until I see nice beads of color. And I'm going to take my uh, tag and apply my first layer of color. And I just want to tap the tag into the color and then I'm going to dry it. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is to add some more layers, which will make this a lot more interesting. So I'm going to take my tag and lightly lay it over the uh, ink that's left on the craft sheet. You'll see I have some nice little dots, and I'll just go ahead and pick up the perfect pearls, and then I'll go ahead and dry it again. Okay, so the pigments, the pigment inks kind of give you a chalky look, and if you look closely, you'll see that the perfect pearls add just the perfect amount of shimmer. It makes a great background. Okay, the great thing about the Ranger products is that they, can, they all work together really well to create a lot of cool backgrounds. So um, I want a little more color on this tag, so I'm going to take some straw distress inks and I'm going to use the blending tool and I'm going to go from the craft sheet onto my tag in a circular motion and just give it a little bit more color. And once again, always from the craft sheet onto the tag and that gives it just a little bit more color. Now another finishing touch that I love um, is the dabber paints and to activate them you remove the clear lid, press down and squeeze and that activates the paint flow and this is a very easy way to put an edge on a card or a tag or your scrapbook layout. Um, the color I chose for this is gold but there's um, 40 colors of, in the pigment, or, I'm sorry, in the dabber paints that match any project. So I wanted to give you some um, ideas for some finished projects. This is a tag done exactly the same way with the pigment inks and perfect pearls. Um, and on this tag I use the red pepper and I used lettuce. And if you'll notice the background stamping is done with coffee archival ink. Um, I always use the archivals because they're waterproof and so you can always go back and add any water-based product over your stamped image and it won't bleed. Um, I use coffee archival for the background because when you stamp them with jet black archival it really makes the black pop. Okay. Here's another example. Um, this one I use Sailboat Blue Pigment Ink and Ranger's Bottle Pigment Ink. Um, and an idea that I like here is to make two tags. And I used one for the background and on my second tag I stamped my flower image and cut it out. And that kind of gives you a nice way to coordinate your um, project to have a perfect, like, perfect match. Um, my stamping again is done in uh, Ranger's Jet Black Archival Ink. And then the little ferns that I stamped here, I used the same color that I used in my background for perfect coordination, and that's a bottle. Okay, and here's another example. For this one, I used espresso uh, pigment ink, and I used the pewter perfect pearls. And I didn't put a whole lot on, so I, I went over the whole tag with um, the Distress Ink and Brush Corduroy, and that kind of gave it a really nice vintage look. I hope you can see how pretty it is. And once again, my stamping is done with Jet Black Archival. Take some time, play with the pigments and pearls, it's a great technique, have fun.